Dream King Films with the playmaker Kennedy Horton of the Terry Parker Braves. Hey, Kennedy, it's National Signing Day. You just made it official to Albany State Rounds. Real quick, just talk about that and let us know what led to that decision. Um, I'm just excited to have the opportunity to go to college for free. And um, with last minute being Corona and me being out two seasons, I'm just blessed to have this opportunity. And hopefully I can take full advantage of the opportunity given and produce what I should. When you signed that national letter of intent, your mom and dad by your side, big smiles on their face, family and friends in the building. Just talk about that putting that smile on that face and signing that letter of intent in front of family and friends. It's exciting. Like, it's something I've always dreamed of. I mean, at elementary school, I made a little list of all the people I wanted to come to my signing day. I mean, it is a dream come true, but I still got more work to do, but it's going to get there, and I know that with work, it'll come. From last night to this morning, how much sleep did you get, and what was going through your mind on your way over here to Terry Parker? I don't really like the big crowds, but I mean, I'm very excited and proud of myself for the effort that I put in to get this far. Kennedy, talk about your skill set. What makes you such a good player? Um, I just got heart. Like, I'm going to give it my all regardless. When I touch the court, I don't care. Talk about the style of play they play up there in South Georgia and also what you could do to go up there and flourish. Um, they're a transition team. I know that for a fact. So I have fun a lot, like running the court, court, court playing good defense, and just taking the best out of opportunity given. Are you going to compete for a starting position right away, Kennedy? I'm going to try to, yes, sir. Also, candidate, talk about the hard work you put into it over the years to ultimately sign this letter of intent and make this day that much more special. Uh, it's been a lot. It's been a really hard journey, especially with the big injury that I went through and just like a lot of people discouraging me about getting back on my feet. But I think it's well deserved and I feel like it's still more to come with that. I feel like this ain't the final destination for me. Talk about that a little bit more, your injury going through that whole process and how you was able to bounce back from that and ultimately come back to Terre Park and make plays. I, I told my ACL, MCL, meniscus, um, a year and a half ago, and I sat out my last AAU season and then my um, junior high school season, and I spent eight months in therapy every day, three hours straight, just working and getting back on my feet, and I got back there and paid up offer, and I'm going to college. I know with uh, injury, your recruitment took a hit, but talk about that going through the recruitment process. Give us some ups and downs and things that you went through. Yeah, like my junior year was my best season for um, coming out of AAU. I had a lot of contacts. I got offered from FAMU my first year, sophomore year. And um, when I tore my ACL and they lost the head coach, I lost that offer. And I lost a lot of other looks that I had. So it kind of gave me a setback, but it gave me a goal to work for. And I got there and I worked and I put in the work and I'm still working. So. Academically, how does it fit at Albany State? Good. I mean, I've always had high academics coming from a 5.0 at Camden and a 4.5 here. Like, academics is never going to be a problem. Hey, uh, to all the young women out there that look up to you, that follow Albany State, that follow Terry Park Athletics, just tell them how important making good grades is in this whole process, it's very Kennedy. It's important, especially when, it, like, at the end of the day, basketball is going to stop at one point, and you got to have an education and get somewhere. So I feel like education is prioritized before it comes to basketball. Hey, Kennedy, also talk about your faith in God and how much that played in this process. I wouldn't be here without God. Like, all the praise to God because I wouldn't be here without him. So I'm very blessed for this opportunity. Hey, Kennedy, before we get out of here one more time, mom and dad in the building, family and friends, big smiles on everybody's face. I, I just want you to drive this point home and just talk about how important that was to put that smile on everybody's face. I'm just blessed to receive this opportunity. I'm going to take full advantage of it. Hey, Kennedy, thanks for talking with me. Thank Good luck to your future. Thank you. Appreciate you.